Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we will talk about aesthetic cube and how you can prepare yourself at home or even just take some online mock tests just to see what's your level of knowledge on the QA fundamentals or if you're interested in the more advanced level uh, you can go for agile tester or advanced level manager uh, it depends on what level on ECTQ Bay are you on. So for this I will present you uh, two websites. The first is uh, testpod.com and it has the section exams and ECTQ Bay online test. As you can already see I've opened the link on the screen. Here you just need to log in and then select whatever test you want just to uh, attempt it. Um, I will just start one just to show you. Yes. Um, it, it, you need to read some instructions just to be clear you cannot pause the test there's a total of 40 questions that um, actual time takes about 60 minutes and uh, you only get one mark for every correct answer you can already see all the instructions in the screen below and double click to start test okay let's start the test okay test result data is what types of efficiency can be evaluated as you can already see for example of test metric specific um, there are uh, several questions from the QA fundamental uh, glossary and uh, this really helps you see how much did you actually learn or how much information do you really retain from uh, reading all that uh, there are several mock-up exams and for example i will mark whatever and just hit finish test submit i will just show you for the purpose of demonstration uh, this is how um, the result is presented to you um, the score uh, it appears that i marked one correct even though i just selected a random question a random answer and uh, you get uh, a comparison, the time comparison, the questions attempted and overall the score of the top four performers. Uh, also here, which is really nice, you can already see a lot of different tests if you want to practice your ACTQB knowledge and you can just attempt several tests here and just, uh, yeah, look how nice and uh, really easy is to see your report. Okay, with that being said, let's move on to site number two. Um, this site is uh, from someone patshala.com and uh, here you, the information is also and the testing is also structured on uh, three different layers, fundamental of testing, testing through the software lifecycle and test management. Uh, yes, there are a lot of uh, mock-up tests, but uh, yeah, as in the previous site, this is also uh, really helpful because here you can already see the question. If you only want to have a look of what type of questions are being and are being uh, mentioned in the ECTQ um exam, you, for example, let's just go here for the fundamental. You can just go and see the questions, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is really helpful if you're uh, looking into ECTQB and you want to prepare yourself to take your fundament or foundation level uh, certification. Um, yeah, as you can already see, uh, this is a lot of, uh, for example, let's take question number seven, which of the following is true? Uh, component testing should be black box, system testing should be white box. If you find a lot of bugs in testing, you should not be very confident about the quality of the software. The fewer bugs you have, the better your testing was. The more tests you run, the more bugs you find. Okay, which one would you choose? Just drop a comment down below. I will not uh, show you the answer here. Yeah, as you can already see, these are really good questions and if you read the glossary and are you already um, read the documentation also and uh, practiced uh, your uh, skills as a QA, this is really helpful because as a QA you don't only need to know the tools, the methodology, you also need to know the terms, you also need to uh, understand the testing from a higher level not from just a um, let's say uh, executional level 
So it's really important that you know all the data about testing, about test data planning, about component testing, uh, white box, black box, system testing, and uh, these kind of exams are really helpful. Okay, if we go back and let's just take a test to demo, uh, practice or test mode. Okay, let's go with test mode. Okay, reviewing the test basics is part of which phase? Test analysis and design, test implementation, and execution, test closure activities, evaluating exit and reporting. As you can already see here, you have uh, 30 minutes for 20 questions. And you can go to the next one and go back if you uh, don't know the answer yet so you can fill other questions and then just go back. I also think this is really useful and then you, uh, at the end when you finished you just go whatever pick one okay and then submit when you're finished with your test. As before you get a result a pie chart with the result which one was uh, answered wrong correctly unattempted and the number of questions also if you want you can go to review and see which questions you did wrong or which questions you should have paid more attention so um, that's it thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this kind of video uh, this was only meant to help you uh, practice your ECTQ best and uh, also don't forget to drop a comment down below um, and let me know uh, did you take the ECTQ certification or did you take any other certification for testing uh, okay thank you bye